Hello friends, Marcy here. I have a new Kaveco pen to share and I just wanted you to see how it arrived. Um, my other, I have several other Kavecos, but they're the short sport, the ALs, um, and they all came, not all of them, most of them came in a tin. Some of them came in a plastic cardboard box, but um, none had this plastic bag. So that's a different experience. I don't know if you've had that experience before, but this is a longer tin. And let me show you this one. This is a collector's edition. That's why the sleeve is different. Um, it was a, I think it's called chocolate brown. Um, so all the other, the short little guys come in the short little tin and the new pin, and the new tin is longer because the pen is longer. So let me move this aside and let's get this open to show you the gorgeousness inside. All right, so this is the Coveco Student Edition and it is um, It is the um, student fountain pen in 60s swing. So the 60s swing happens to be the green. Um, I really have been admiring the brown one and a few days ago I added it to my shopping cart at Jet Pens, but I just haven't decided to purchase yet. So I do wanna talk about um, how this, the construction of this pen and the size comparisons of this pen to some other Kawakos, Kawakos. I say it like a W because, you know, I, I don't speak German. I don't have that accent. <laughs> so pardon me if that happens. And I also purchased a converter because I knew it did not come with. So, and this is um, quite a bit larger than the converters that are needed in the sport size. Let me show you. I know this one happens to be cleaned out. So I can borrow this converter and just show you the size comparison. This is a tiny bit of ink there for you. Cartridges hold more than the, the short little compact mini converters on the sport. So there you go. There's a little comparison for you. This is about, doesn't look like too much um, difference in the ink capacity, even though the handle is larger. Um, I'll put this back in the correct pin. So we can look at the pen differences in nib sizes and body sizes and weights in a bit. But first, I know this is an acrylic resin body and I appreciate the fact that this comes with a clip and it is a gorgeous ornate clip. It does say Kaweco here has a, an imprinted design here. And this band around the cap does say Kaweco. And on the back, it just says Germany. But when, to get the clips on the sport size, I had to purchase them separately. Um, but this one does have the same ornate design that is included in this pin, the one I purchased for my red. One, I do have some different ones because I like to purchase the clips that match the foiling on the pen body. And this one's silver and it's just a flat uh, modern style. So I appreciate having the clip included in the pen. And actually I don't, I don't use these clips as a shirt um, clip, like to uh, clip this on a page or a shirt pocket or collar because they do move. If you press on them, because you just, it's a band that doesn't go all the way around. Um, I don't count on them. They do slide. So I don't really use them as a clip. I just use them as a roll stop to keep the pen from rolling off the table. Um, this one, it is springy enough that I could actually use it to clip on a page or a journal cover or even my uh, shirt collar, which I tend to do that often. I don't have shirt pockets, but I do tend to put um, clips on shirt collar or lanyards um, when I'm at school work. So, and let's look in here. 
at this gorgeousness on the grip section. So there's our metal grip section and it is gold inside. This is an empty cartridge um, that could be filled with ink and you don't need a converter. You could syringe fill. Um, you could syringe fill your cartridge and it does come with a blue cartridge. So um, the unique feature about this size also is that you could carry an extra cartridge inside your pen. So if you're writing and run out of ink, you, you have one ready to go. You just swap them out and put the empty one in the back. So, and in the back, if you notice the center of the barrel or the middle part of the barrel is a little more broad and it tapers down at the bottom. Uh, the cap has that same design where it, it um, grows, it's wider in the middle of the bar barrel and it tapers down here for the screw on. And then we have the gorgeous finial that's also um, visible on the other pens, whether it's the metal AL or the plastic. So the metal pens, aluminum pens, this one, okay, this one says AL Sport. This is the rose gold. All right, let's look, let's do a little bit of um, nib comparison here. I do want one that would look gold, I think. So these nibs are very easy to change. Um, this nib is a fine. And this one is a broad. So I think they're number four nibs. Um, if you can see the tapering and the slender section here on this metal grip, it's longer on the student than it is here on the sport. And you can see the sport, how it fits in my hand. It is easily posted and the sport is better uh, a better fit to hold when it's posted this pin could be comfortably uh, held without being posted as a matter of fact let's post it and see and it gets a little long and uh, back heavy not too heavy if you like to write with your pins posted but I'm more comfortable with this position and I'm going to be inking this up with using the converter. And I think I'm going to try, I've ordered a couple green inks. I wanted to try the uh, Edelstein Olivine. And also I have a sample here of the Monte Verde Olivine. And I think I'm going to go with the Monte Verde today and fill this up. So. Let's get our supplies ready and I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna drop some ink using the syringe. I'll place it in the converter. And since I'm not going to be dipping the nib section into the ink, um, not having very much in the sample vial, uh, we'll have to wait a few minutes for the writing sample as we wait for the nib feed to saturate and then we'll try it on paper. But we'll just take a, a quick break and I shall return when that's ready. Oh, and this um, does say Covego on the side cylinder of this. It This uh, converter was made for this pin. It is, I have to double check, but I believe it is um, universal standard. And I do believe this is a Bach nib. Again, I would have to double check that. But it does have the... Kaveco logo stamped on there. So, and it is a push on, not a screw on nib. So make sure you get it on there snug so you don't have any leaking issues. I'm gonna help it out uh, getting down to the nib feed by twisting some of my ink down. And then we will let gravity do some work for us. Okay, so we're going to try our Kaveco Student Edition 
and um, student on the website, student means university, not like student a learner pin, like I think the Lamy's are a learner pin. We'll do some comparisons in another video later. I just want to get some ink down on this paper, experience this, and try to decide if I want to order the other color, if I like it that much. Um, oh my, this is, I do like it that much. <laughs> this is Koeko Student, and I think this ink is just like perfect color, and it's writing wet, but let's see, not too wet right now. Um, this is the 60s Swing. So if you like the green, you have to look for the name 60s Swing. And I did order um, the fine nib. Yeah. Okay. And our ink is the sample of the Monteverdi. Olivine. I do like this ink. I do like this nib and this pen. It is a very comfortable hold. Um, if you're concerned about the metal grip section, I'm not having any slipping issues. I believe it's due to the um, tapering here where it narrows and then it widens out right before the end. So um, I'm going to let that sit about five seconds and see what happens. Yeah, so very quick drying um, ink for this pen and I'm enjoying it a lot. We have some no skipping issues. The, the feed keeps up with nice, nice, nice. All right, so today is April 2nd, 2023. I like to write the date that I'm writing my ink samples down. That way I can go back and look. But I am going to add this to the ink swatch book. And yeah, you're probably going to be seeing the the brown uh, student edition, which is, look at me trying to cap, um, which is called 20s Jazz. You'll be probably be seeing that soon because I'm liking it enough to um, consider purchasing that. We will come back um, and have some reviews and comparisons to some other, oh, real quick, to some other Kaveco pens, which, um, you know, I have this colorful collection of the sport size. And then I have this one um, Kaveco Perkeo that I use at school a lot. I really think this one should be called Student Edition um, because it does have the triangular grip section, plastic. It only comes in a medium steel nib, and I think I have Yamabuto ink in here right now. Um, also, do I have a cartridge? I could, yeah, I purchased the cartridge. I mean, the converter for that instead of using the, the cartridge. But this is like seventeen dollar pen, and I don't mind using it at school or worrying about it. Um, so comparisons in another video. Look at me, I keep going. I just want to bring this little puppy up. This is my Lilliput, and it stays in my tote. It often goes to the bottom of the tote in my little um, Galen leather zip uh, pen holder, but it gets neglected, and I just want to pull it out and see if this nib is going to write today. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I can tell you it's been over a month since I've written with this pen, and I pull it out, and it just automatic starts writing I'm going to have to look back in my uh, journal and see which ink this is. You know what? This is the Kaveco cartridge. This is the Kaveco ink. I have not changed it. So very, very pleased with the performance on this. It is a wet writer. It doesn't dry out. And I'm just gazing to see. That's a fine nib. Loving it. All right. Just had to throw that in there. Again, thank you for spending some of your precious moments with me. You have a blessed day.